I'm so excited to finally get to the whales. That background took way too long. But now it's time for the breaching humpbacks of this picture. I am coming in with black and I am going to put down a layer over the back where all of the texture in the picture is located. The black will, for now, be restricted to the back portion of the whale as well as the pectoral fins. Hi everyone, I'm Catherine, the artist behind Bigelow Fine Arts. Welcome back to the Kirby Rosines' Worlds Within Worlds Whale Double Spread. Now that I am finally finished with the background, things should go a little faster. Although, I will be back to having the first part of the video as close to real time as I can. If you like the longer format videos, let me know. I can make them longer if you want true real time at the beginning. As I put down the black, I am leaving the white areas clear of color. They have been left without liner for a reason, and that is for highlights. I am also leaving the edge around the whale free of color for now. I did add in a light layer of black, but I ended up erasing that back later, so skip that for now when you see me do it. I do go back through and add another layer of black. I know that this first layer is not going to be dark enough, nor will the second layer be dark enough either, but since I am building layers, I might as well add at least two right now. I did add a little black to the belly, but I removed it before switching colors, so skip that part too. Hindsight is great. I do work up a few small gradients. For the closest pectoral fin, I made the black darker at the base against the water to show a little bit of a shadow. Under and around the same fin, I added in more layers to build up shading. Over the white areas on the back of the whale, I add in a light layer to knock back the white of the paper just a little.
This is where I added some around the edge of the whale and realized later it wasn't going to work. Since it was a light layer, it was easily erased. So this next color will seem a little odd, but I am coming in with light green and adding in a light layer down the left edge of the whale. The reason why I had to erase it was that the black and green didn't really work together. The green does need to be here to show reflected green light from the surrounding greens. This will make it look like the whale is a part of the picture and not slapped in as an afterthought. Although it seems like it would get lost in the black, I come in with sepia and begin adding in shadows both to the stomach and to the back and it does darken the black even more. For the belly, I add in sepia where there is liner showing a shadow. These detailed pictures feel easier to color because the shadow work is done, taking away some of the guesswork. For the back, I add in a layer to the shadows to darken the black more. The shadows I am focusing on are under the pectoral fin and around the joint, as well as down towards the water. For the rest of the belly, I come in with cold gray one and cover up all of the belly. This blends in with the sepia and covers the rest of the paper. The bellies appear white on humpbacks. But we all know that white is just an illusion, so I wanted to begin with this light gray and use it as a jumping off point. With the cold gray 3, I add to the shadows on the belly and the pectoral fins. And here is where I erased the green and black along the back so I could clean up the look of the green. Once back to white, I put down the light green alone and it looks so much better. I also add in some reflected green highlights to the pectoral fins as well as along the belly, where some of the ridges would catch reflected light. I am just placing some lines randomly and not planning out where they could possibly be. I come back in with black and really darken up the back with several layers. The whale isn't totally finished, but it is really close. If this is your first time here, welcome! This is part of my whale video series as I work through this large two-page spread. I have the rest of the playlist linked above, but feel free to jump in right here. If you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button to stay informed of the next video in the Color Along.
Now for the rest of the parts around the whale. I begin with cobalt green. I add that to the background to accentuate the effect of water pouring off the whale as it is jumping. So I follow the lines I made while working up the background and just add in this greenish blue. I don't want too much blue because water is clear after all. For the water that the whale is jumping out of, I come in with cobalt blue. Again, water is clear. It only looks blue because of the sky and light. But I am also using blue here because everyone associates blue with water. And the waves here reminded me of the Great Wave by Hokusai. So I wanted to bring that color palette into this part of the picture. I add in the cobalt blue to all the parts of the water that have lines. If a part of a wave has water behind it, I add in a light layer as well. If there are lines, I add in a darker layer. Basically, I want the white parts of the wave to stand out from anything behind it, so I have to add a little color. For shading, I come in with dark indigo and add in shadows and depth to the water and waves. This is typically at the bottom of the waves or water, but when a wave curls over, I add in some dark indigo under the curl as it would cast a shadow as well.
For the white tops of the waves, I use cold gray one, but I do blend down into the wave just a little to drag some of the blue up into the wave tops. Or maybe I'm just being a little lazy and coloring over everything. I use cold gray 3 for shadows on the white part of the waves, as well as on the water dripping from the pectoral fins and touching up other random spots as needed. The little fish I was at a total loss for how to color up. I like to go for realism, so I wanted something that would blend in, but I could totally see something brightly colored working here as well. In the end, I decided to fill them in with black. I followed that up with cobalt green, but that didn't work so well, so don't use it. I put cobalt blue on and that was better. I gave them a shadow with black. Basically, I put a line down the right side of the body for each fish and called it a shadow.
I used a touch of leaf green for the reflected green on the back. Then I blended it in with cold gray five where the green meets the black to get a slightly better blend. And that is one breaching whale. I will speed through the rest, but they will all work up about the same as this one.
Thanks for coloring along with me. Let me know below or on social media how your whales turned out. I really want to know. I feel like this was the fun part of this whole pic. I feel like this was the fun part of this whole picture so far. I want to thank you all so much for coming along and joining in with me. If you found this useful, please like and share so others can also find this video. If you want more like this, I have another video where I am coloring up all kinds of marine life and corals. Check that playlist out here. And until next time, happy coloring.